I'm pretty goldly sure you must have seen this golden gradient field applied to text, different shapes of any kind. And you find it attractive, right? Well, in this tutorial video, we're going to be discovering how to achieve that and making it more effective in your designs. So join me on this fun ride. I personally created this golden gradient field and also made a cheat code on how to apply it. If you like this video, do give it a like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash on the notification button to not miss out on every single feature upload. As always, the link to the resources for this video is in the description down below. Go get it for yourself. So without wasting no more time, let's fire up Corridor. Now to begin with, we'll be creating a new solid shape right here so that we can apply our golden color field to it. Now we'll go over to our resources, copy the golden color palette cheat code, copy and then we'll go over to Corridor and then paste it right here. Now we can have our cheat code right here, have our color fill over here. Now I'll activate the fill dialog box and then bring it over here. So essentially what we'll be doing here is copying each of these colors for each of this slider. And importantly, we'll be copying each of these colors and the position for it also. So let's get into it. Now for the first slider, I'll click on it. Make sure the position is set to be 0% first. And then I'll click on the color to activate it. Click on color eyedropper tool. Bring it over to the first color right here. And as you can see, the color it indicates on the sheet code is exactly what is on top of it. For example, we have cyan to be 33, magenta to be 58, and then yellow to be at 100, black to be at 15. And then also we have it right here. So if you notice also, our color is set default to CMYK. If yours is saying RGB, it is because when you are creating a new document, you set it to be RGB. So make sure it's CMYK. Let's go over to the first slider, click on the copy eyedropper tool, go over to the first color and then click on it. Congratulations, we just added our first color. So we'll be creating more sliders as we go on. I'll double click to create a new slider. Make sure the composition is set to 12% and then double click on the color, click the color eyedropper tool and then copy the color for the 12% position slider. And there we have it. So I will double click again to create a new color. This time I will set in the position to be 23%. Very good. Double click on the color, go to color eyedropper tool and then copy the color for the 23% position. And there we have it. Now I will double clicking again to create a new slider, set the position to 41% and Fortunately, I double click on the 41% position so I don't have to set it again. Now we we'll double click on color, click on color, eyedropper, go over to the 41 position and then click on it. And the color is copied. Now I will double click in again to create a new color. This time we need it to be at 52% position, not 56. Double click on the color, go over to color eyedropper tool and then copy the color for the 52 position. And there we have it. Now again, we'll be creating a new slider for the 66% position. Go over to color, go over to eyedropper color tool. Click on the 66% position color and copy the color. Our color is copy. So we'll be creating a new color again. Go over to the position settings and then make it 77% position. Now for 77% position, we'll be clicking on the color to copy the color. We'll go over to 77% position color and then copy the color and beautiful and as you can see our fill is becoming a very nice golden color palette we haven't finished yet so i'll be creating again a new slider go over to the position and then this time we want to make it 88 percent position for the color we are going to be copying the color for the 88 percent position i'll activate the color eyedropper and then go over to the 88 percent and click on it very good that color is copied now for the last slider which is always at 100 percent default i'll double click on the color Make sure I click on my color eyedropper to bring it over to the 100 position color and then click on it. Now we have our color to be copied. This is very, very good. I can click on OK right now, but there are some more adjustments I would like to notice. For the blend transition, make sure it sets to linear foundation field. For the arrangement, make sure it sets to default foundation field. And then for the flow also, make sure smooth transition is ticked just like I did right now. Make sure it's click. And then for the acceleration, we want to make the acceleration to be at 0.0, .0 value. Now, if we want to rotate this color a bit. 
I would have liked to do that manually, but let's have it to be at seven degrees of rotation. It's very good. So I'll click on OK to confirm. Make sure you click on OK to confirm. If you click on cancel, everything you've done will be canceled. So make sure you click on OK. Congratulations, you have your first golden color palette. Now to create the second golden field, there's a reason why we are creating the first and the second, which I'll show you in a bit. I'll press on F11 to activate the field dialog box. I'll bring it right here. For the first letter, which is default at zero, I'll click on the color and then click on the color eyedropper to copy the first color. And I have our first color copied. So essentially, I'll be doing almost the same thing as the first step we took earlier. So I'll be putting this on time lapse. Now we have our second color field created. Just to confirm this, I have the right type selected, the arrangement. I have the right one selected. I also have the oscillation to be zero. I don't have my smooth transition checked, so I will check it right now so that I'll have a very good smooth transition over there. And for this, the rotation should be about five degrees. I'll click on OK. Very good. So I have it at five degrees. So this is our second color palette. Now I'll be showing you how to use this for your color text effect. So I'll click on this color, copy them, create a new page. We want it before, I'll just click on OK. Now over to our color text effect, I'll be making the page border 10 by 8 inches. Create a rectangle over here and then make it a 10 by 8. Press on P to centralize it to page. Go over to the text tool and then type the word gold. Now I'll increase the font size, press P to bring it to the center of page. I'll be using a font named Times New Roman. Very good. Earlier we copied our golden color palette. I'll paste it right here. To copy the color, click on your text. Go over to edit on your menu bar. Go over to copy properties from. Make sure that fill is checked and then click on OK. Now as you can see our cursor has changed on arrow pointing right. So we click in on our first color and boom, we have our first colored copy. And to make it more interesting, we need each of these letters to have their individual golden field. Now to do that, we just press on Ctrl K. All we're doing next is changing the field rotation for each of these letter. Press on G on your keyboard to activate the gradient field. For letter G, I would like to make the rotation be like this. I'll click on letter O. And we have it to be different from that of later G. Maybe if you wondering from the beginning of this tutorial, what's the second golden field for? Well, this is what it is for. We'll be creating an outline for the golden field and you will see how interesting it becomes when we create an outline for it. Now press on F2F to, to activate the outline pen. Go over to the way and then make it four points. Click on behind field and then make sure you click on scale with object. Now we have it as an outline, but we want it to be curve so that we can apply a gradient field to the outline. Press on the shortcut key, Ctrl Shift Q. Now, as you can see, each of these outline is now made a color field. So I'll undo that. Now what I'll do is select each of these outline right here. Carefully selecting that, I'll go to edit, go to copy properties from, and then make sure fill is checked. Click on OK. And boom, the color is copied. Now to have a better view of this golden effect, I'll make our background black. I'll increase the size of this, group it, and then make sure it's sent out to page. To make this pop even much better, I'll be introducing a golden texture. To add a texture to it, first we would like to select each of these individual letters right here. Press on Ctrl G to group this text. Right click on it. Go over to frame. Go over to create empty part frame. Now go over back to your resources and then copy this golden texture. So we have it copied. I'll press on Ctrl Shift V to paste in view. Now. We have it paste in view. I'll decrease the size right here. This time rotate it to be 90 degree value. I will increase the size, the width so that it covers our text. Go over to transparency, go over to the merge mode and then select hard light. We'll go over to the uniform transparency. Make sure it's at 50. Press on Ctrl X to cut this. Now go over to your power clip frame and then paste it right here. And boom, it is beautiful. And with that being done, we've come to the end of this tutorial. 
If you like this video, do give this video a like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out on any single feature upload. And I hope I'll see you in my next video.